What up, what up, Jay Clue with the stoolie back here at the Cobbler Fox. I got some things to talk about. Trippy Red. <clears throat> I know I gotta come at you with the music knowledge. In my opinion, Trippy Red just released the next biggest whole album. Of January, at least. I don't know what the future holds. But of January, Trippy Red released the best album. Yeah, I think that's a proven fact. Look at the features, the sound, the references, all that shit. Like, fucking, and it only sold 55K. Only sold fifty five k. And his last album sold eighty one k. I don't even know how something like that's possible because I can't even remember anything from his last album. So I think it's gonna be like one of the most slept on albums of the year. I feel like people will start grasping onto it, coming to it around like in the middle of the year and stuff. It will age well. 55 is just too low. <laughs> 55 is way too low. <laughs> like. I would at least say like 70, 71, 72 or something like that. But like I heard it was like the Avengers, like they were going to get the Avengers a rap together for this out. That's what my life. And that's honestly what I think it did. But you know, he has a little dark features, some fucking all types of features, man. Future was on that joint. Juice World. The joint went hard, man. Yeah. That's what I had to say about the most popping album to me of the year, you know. With all that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And we out. Peace.